the much anticipated southwest monsoon has arrived in india a little earlier than usual what does this signify hello and welcome to the hindu i am priyali prakash and you're watching tipping point our weekly show where we cover climate news our main story this week is the early onset of the southwest monsoon in india this year monsoon arrived in kerala on may 24th which is 8 days before the usual date on which it sets in kerala is the first stop for southwest monsoon on mainland india from where it progresses inwards usually monsoon hits kerala on june 1st before we get further into this early onset here's a quick refresher on what southwest monsoon is The southwest monsoon is essentially a wind system which causes most of the rainfall in India between June and September months. During the summer months, hot air over the Indian landmass rises, creating a low pressure area. This brings moisture laden winds from the Arabian Sea and the larger Indian Ocean towards the landmass. As they hit the western ghats and the Himalayas, they cool down, cause rainfall in most parts of India, marking the monsoon season. Topography is a key factor here as it affects how and where this rain falls. Around 70% of India's rain is fed by southwest monsoon. This is crucial as India's economy heavily depends on agriculture and farmlands extensively rely on monsoon for irrigation. Now coming back to the early onset of monsoon this year. This time around southwest monsoon arrived in Maharashtra on May 25th a day after it reached Kerala. This marks the earliest onset of the annual rainfall season over Maharashtra in 35 years. Of course, this isn't the first time that monsoon has arrived early in India. It is also important to note that the date of the onset does not impact the overall strength of the monsoon season. There are some factors that are believed to drive the onset of India's southwest monsoon season. but we cannot say why it arrived early for sure warmer sea surface temperatures are one of the reasons that make incoming monsoon winds stronger and more full of moisture according to a recent study the indian ocean has warmed up by 1.2 degree celsius from 1950 to 2020 and this warming is expected to go up a further 1.7 to 3.8 degree celsius from 2020 to 2100 Summers in the mainland are also setting in earlier than before and are also getting warmer creating favorable conditions for the monsoon winds to arrive earlier than usual El Niño and La Niña are weather systems that affect monsoon in India at a press conference IMD officials said that a mix of other factors like a precyclonic circulation and favorable temperatures in the Tibetan plateau also played a part in advancing the monsoon Hey is Raghu Murthu Gudde a retired professor from IIT Bombay explaining how these patterns could relate to the early onset of monsoon we have already had a monsoon onset here which is the earliest in some 70 years or so the onset on kerala happened on 24th of may which is a week earlier than the normal June 1 onset does happen around June 1 give or take a few days and when it's this early then we say wow that's a really early onset is that related to the so called el nino or la nina well that's not so clear because in 2009 for example we had an early onset which was a day earlier than this year on May 23rd and 2009 did turn out to be a uh, el nino but the early onset actually was followed by a dry drought year this year hopefully it will not be bad but the forecast do call for excess rain normal to excess rain Uh on the other hand I already have sunny day in Mumbai very hot uh, so we are in a break after an early onset will this be an el nino year the forecasts are calling for a neutral year neither el nino nor la nina then how can we expect the early onset well folks it turns out that it's just probably natural variability which means mother nature throws a dice and then sometimes monsoons happen bit earlier than the normal or sometimes a bit later than normal if it's too late often it does turn out to be a dry year but the early onset does not always guarantee a normal year or a excess year 
What is natural variability? It's what happens because the sun is moving north, south, and we have, you know, Earth's tilt and seasons and all those good things. What is global warming doing then? Well, global warming does what is called loading the dice. So maybe global warming is affecting the natural variability and we know it is because rainfall is now distributed in extremes so monsoon does come in every year and it does start around june 1 and it does withdraw around withdrawal but there have been changes in the onset dates and the changes in the withdrawal dates and the changes in the distribution of rainfall you know heavy rains in some places and droughts in other places so amount of rain in a season is not evenly distributed over space or time that would be nice so things are changing and we don't always have an answer as to why exactly the early onset happened in that case we say it's probably due to natural variability we are exploring many things. For example, 2023 was a strong El Nino and it was a record warm year. 2024 continued to be warm. There was a La Nina expected and forecasted, but it did not happen. There was some strange cooling pattern in the tropical Pacific that didn't really look like a classical La Nina. And now we are transitioning most likely into a neutral year. So here, that's where we stand as far as the early onset this year is concerned. There are many factors like cyclones and typhoons and a warm ocean and uh, waves from the Arctic and so on that create uh, perturbations to the onset. It's possible sometimes for the cyclones to pull the trough ahead from the uh, Andaman Sea into the Bay of Bengal on to land and this year we did have some low pressure systems both on the Arabian Sea side and the Bay of Bengal which seem to have pulled the trough ahead and have given us an early onset so global warming is affecting the cyclones to that extent. The Hindu has covered the possibility and history of the connection between these patterns and the early onset extensively. What does this year's southwest monsoon hold? The IMD has forecast above normal rainfall for this year between June and September. The weather forecast for Thursday predicted heavy rainfall over parts of Kerala, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Maharashtra and Goa. Now another important feature which we are seeing is the advancement of southwest monsoon. Southwest monsoon today has further advanced into some more parts of Chhattisgarh and Odisha, some more parts of North West Bengal, remaining parts of northeastern states, and some parts of South Malayan West Bengal and entire Sikkim today that is on 29th of May 2025. Also the conditions are favorable for further advance of southwest monsoon over some more parts of West Bengal and Bihar during next one to two days. Even with all the hype around the early onset, the movement of monsoon can still and is likely to slow down. However, even with the usual 4% error margin of IMD forecasts, a good monsoon can mean sufficient irrigation for summer crops like rice and cotton and also improved reservoir storage for future use. However, an above average rainfall can also lead to waterlogging and flooding in parts of the country. Mumbai has already seen multiple instances of water logging since monsoon arrived in the city. Many other urban areas like Bengaluru and Gurugram also regularly grapple with the problem of flooding during downpours. Expanding further on this, we have Vishwas Chitale, Senior Program Lead at the Delhi-based Council on Energy, Environment and Water. This year, monsoon has reached one week earlier than expected in Kerala, but it is expected to reach on its normal schedule to Delhi and other North Indian cities. But for a mega city like Delhi, what is important is to note that it faces both kind of risks due to extreme and heavy rainfall events, uh, as well as heat risk, which, is, which has been identified as per the recent study of CEW. And now on to climate headlines of the week. A new five-year forecast published by the World Meteorological Organization and the UK Meteorological Office on Wednesday said that the world is all set to get hotter with extreme heat becoming even more common. According to the report, there is an 80% chance that the world will break another annual temperature record in the next five years. A large part of the Blatton mountain village in Switzerland was reported buried after a considerable chunk of a glacier in the Swiss Alps broke off. According to news agencies, the 300 residents of the village were evacuated on May 19th after the risk was made imminent by researchers. 
but the infrastructure in the village suffered widespread damage because of the avalanche and the rock slide. There has been extensive research on how the melting of glaciers across the world has been accelerated by climate change caused due to human activities. A UNESCO report released in March said that globally, glaciers lost around 9,000 gigatons of ice since 1975. This is roughly equivalent to an ice block the size of Germany with a thickness of 25 meters, as quoted by Michael Zemp, director of the Switzerland-based World Glacier Monitoring Service. The report also said that the last three-year period saw the largest loss of glacial mass on record. That's all from this week's Tipping Point. If you found this discussion insightful, please subscribe to The Hindu.